Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Crystal and I talk about all things that make our lives in our 30s better and more fabulous. So, you came here because you want to know the products that I have found that actually work for women over 30. I have watched countless tutorials and bought way too many products that other YouTubers and influencers had reviewed thinking that if I bought them, that I would magically get the same effect. And the truth of the matter is I didn't. But what I did get along this process was a lot of knowledge and a lot of trial and error. And I found things that genuinely do work. I'm just gonna go in a random order. The first one I'm gonna start with is IT Cosmetic CC Illumination. Um, I love this because it covers everything it gives me an illumination type of look i am not a fan of matte anything too much because i think it ages the skin this to me does wonders it covers all of my sunspots it doesn't settle into any of my wrinkles and i just overall think it's an amazing foundation the other one that i want to discuss with you is i think i'm going to pronounce this wrong but it's la essentielle by guerlain one thing I will say about this is the pump thing broke. So for the last couple of months, I literally just like used the stick, um, but it works. I like the formula of the foundation. I like the way this looks on my skin as well. It doesn't age me at all and it really makes everything look flawless. The one thing I will say that I have found, and this is going to be the most important thing you can grab from this video and run with, is that any foundation that you have, maybe you put it on and you can actually see it sitting on top of your skin and it doesn't look like part of your skin, what you need to do is get a facial oil. The one I love and you're gonna hear me rave about nonstop is the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil. I have foundation and concealer and stuff all over it, but put one drop of this with your concealer, with your foundation, and what it does is it melts into your skin and looks like your skin, but it's more flawless. It's brilliant. And I don't know why more people aren't talking about this because it's, a stellar technique that changes your makeup game 110%. All right, moving on. The next thing I wanna to talk to you about that's one of my absolute favorites is a bronzer. I actually didn't really wear a ton of bronzer. I tried the whole contouring thing and I always felt like I was doing it wrong when genuinely you just need to find what works for your face. What I love is this hourglass one. This is the Luminous Bronze Light. What I do is I take my favorite bronzing brush, and this one is a La Mer brush. I don't know, there's no like numbers or anything to this. You can, I'm sure if you go on the website, you can find it. It's like their powder brush, but I use it for bronzer. And what I love to do is literally just go on the outskirts of my face and around this area right here, and then bronze down and just go on the perimeters of your face, wherever you feel like just needs a little bit of extra color. It's perfect. I love this specific bronzer because it's not too orange and it's not too dark and it's not too gray it just has a shimmer it doesn't have a shimmer but it has like a sheen to it so it meshes really well with your foundation and i think it just looks amazing i did a concealer um video recently if you haven't yet go check that out i show you my method and my technique to make your under eyes and everything look really youthful and flawless so the two products that i have found that work the best for me and i have sunspots wrinkles texture you name it, is the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer in Medium. And this is the orange color. This is amazing. I have been using this for a really long time and I'm not even halfway through it because you don't need that much. The other one is the Giorgio Armani. I love this concealer. I don't remember. I will link all of these makeup products down below for you guys if you want to check them out. Um, I don't remember my shade, but I will look into that. Okay, so let's go to lip. The lip liner that I recommend people go towards is one that is maybe just a shade darker than your natural lip color. I love Pillow Talk. I find this is a really universal lip pencil for a lot of people. And I just like to line my natural outline of my lips 
and I color in the inside a little bit. And this one is super great. This is a Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk is the color. With that, if you don't like to wear a lot of lipstick, I'm not a huge lipstick person, especially now with masks and stuff, but I do like my lips to look a little bit better and less dull than they would if I wasn't wearing anything. And so the one thing I am going to recommend every woman get is the Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm. This stuff is stellar. This stuff is awesome. It looks translucent, but when you put it on your lips, it transforms the color of your lips just a little bit better, like a little bit brighter and makes them more bold looking, but it appears like you're just wearing like a balm. It's, it's super weird, but amazing. Love it. I also talked about lashes in a separate video. If you want, you can go and check that one out. But in there, I also mentioned that my favorite mascara is Monsieur Big by Lancome. I love this. It lengthens my lashes. It makes them look thick. It's just, mm, it's so good. For my bottom lashes, I use the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. This has a tiny little itty bitty wand and it gets your bottom lashes just perfectly. It's amazing and it's considered a tubing mascara so I, you don't get like any darkness underneath, underneath of your eyes from it and it doesn't flake or do anything like that. It's pretty awesome. Let's talk about eyeshadow. And I don't like to go super crazy on eyeshadow. I have a few techniques that I look forward to showing you guys that I have found work for non 20 year old eyes. Um, but the one palette that I constantly reach for, it is nothing like really high end, but I love it. It is the nude Huda Beauty eye palette and it, it's filthy. So don't look at that, but the colors in it are just beautiful. I think if you have any color eye, like these blushes and light purples and tans and browns and oh, it's so good. I think the formula works really well. Um, I do have much, much more expensive palettes, but that is probably the one I reach for the most, like for an everyday basis. The other thing I wanted to touch base on is powders. I do not go overboard on power. I don't go overboard on powder. That is a lip, that is tongue twister. <laughs> Okay, so anyways, the one powder that I do want to talk about is the Hourglass Veil. This thing was hyped for such a long time and then nobody talks about it anymore. I like this powder. I think it's super finely milled and I like it just to put in the crevice right in here and underneath of my eyes and I find that it kind of just blurs that area just enough where it still looks like skin, but it looks like I, I got some sleep. Let's be honest. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is blush. I love blush. I think it adds life to your face. I think it can make you look a lot younger. I just think you need to find the right shade. And the shade I really like is Mood Exposure. It looks like this. It's nothing too brown. It's not too pink. It's just right there in the middle of everything. And it blends like a dream. I love this color. This is from Hourglass, if I didn't mention that already, and I think it's fabulous. Okay, I think every woman should have a eyelash curler. I have had a few different ones. This one actually is a little bit dirty, which I always recommend you clean yours, but this one is the Shiseido one. I got the Surratt one, and that one's kind of neat too because it, it's a little bit more wider, so if you have big eyes, check that one out because I think you would really, really like it. It does grab all of your lashes all at once, and it's, it's pretty awesome. But the Shiseido one, I always come back to as well because I think it curls like a dream. All right, so if I had to pick two things that I absolutely have to have when I do my makeup, it would be the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil because that can transform anything and it nourishes my skin and my skin looks way more youthful. But the other thing would be, look at how dirty this is, you guys, this is gross. But the other thing would be this eyeshadow right here. I have repurchased this, I don't know how many times. This is in the spotlight. It's kind of like a peach color, but on the lids, Oh my gosh, it makes your eyes pop, it makes your eye color pop. It just, it's so great. I can't 
rave about this enough. I can't live without this eyeshadow. I constantly purchase this and I hope, 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 hope Marlena does not discontinue it because I honestly would be devastated. I feel like I need to go order some backups right now. Okay, so we talked about my favorite makeups that are still relevant today in 2021, which there is a difference because I feel like makeup that was so popular four or five years ago really isn't relevant today. But not relevant to me because my needs and my wants have changed now that I'm in my 30s. But I do want to quick touch on some brushes because I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Wayne Goss came up with some brushes that are unbelievable. And I say that because they are shaped differently. They're made with real goat hair. And I'm just gonna show you a couple of them, but like this one right here is the number 19. I use this all the time. And the reason I love it is because it's smaller. I feel like I can get into my, my creases and right here, like doing cut creases or anything like that, or just blending into any area. It works so much better than one that is shaped differently and it's kind of got a little bit of a tip to it. I didn't wash all my brushes, so don't judge me. I just absolutely love these. This is one. The other one that I absolutely love is the 16. This one's bigger. You can kind of see the comparison. This one's super fluffy as well. And this blends like your base color, like no tomorrow. You will never find a brush better than this one for putting on your base color. These two right here, you could do a whole eye makeup look. And, and look real nice. Okay, so let's see. The other brush I want to talk about is super cheap. I don't know why, but... <laughs> This brush is just so amazing. This is by Real Techniques, and this one, is there a number on this? No, but it has an angle to it, and I love to use this. Sometimes I don't wanna go in with my finger to apply the powder, and for whatever reason, whenever I use this brush, you guys, I just, I, I can't. It, it, it's so amazing, it's just, it's like it was made for these crevices right in here or something. I will do a tutorial with this showing you what I mean, but this is an amazing, amazing brush. I know that was a lot of talking and probably not super exciting, but I hope you got some really great product ideas. And I'm hoping that some of the ways I use these products really help you. I hope you guys have a really great day. I would love it if you subscribed. I'm newer to YouTube, but you are not gonna wanna miss my upcoming videos because they are going to be amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.